I finally made it to the marvelous chateau. Yes. Where is the queen at? She's upstairs. She'll be down shortly. All your social media. You just a popular woman. <laughs> How you doing? Okay. It's nice to meet you, love. Okay, I'm fine. I see you up in here rattling some pots, lady. I'm ready. I'm trying to get it finished. I'm from the west side of Chicago. I can always eat. Okay. I really am really particular about my face. I say it's a certain look I like to have. I can do it myself. But I know she got a team. I said she got her own team. I can't get involved in that. That's another business. Yeah, some of them get on here might not be. Fan, you understand? Some I wouldn't, but I don't look. I'm from, I'm from the West Side. My grandma from Missouri, Arkansas. She always told me, don't invite nobody to nobody else's house. Yeah. Have me get cussed out. Man, you're in here fighting me. <laughs> Those glasses are cute. We've been talking about doing this for five years. Well, I was, we heard, we her and I were talking the other day, and I don't know if you remember when. God, Neva had came over here one night, and the three of y'all was on mm -hmm. the phone talking. I was here that night too. I'm still a fan of that Neva, though. <laughs> and I'm not saying that out of shade. Uh huh. I just never got the whole. I, I can relate to Magical Manny, another trans girl like me. She mm -hmm. another tranny. I could never relate to that whole Neva. <laughs> it just, it was too much. You think it's too much? It was too much for me. And I'm trans. I'm a comedian. Say ignorant shit out my mouth all the time. Mm -hmm. But it was too much for me. Gotcha. Because. From what information you're giving me, I'm not learning anything because it's too much reading. Hmm. I take the read, but teach me something through the read. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't learning them, but, but how to read. I don't even know if she's nobody teaching me how to, I know I do that. You know how to read. Ooh. From the old school. <laughs> My grandma played no games, baby. Everything Who taught she, you how to read? Granny. Big G, may she rest in peace. Dolores Gibson, honey. Hell raised like you wouldn't believe. But made me know that I was from good stock. Mm -hmm. I watched my grandmother throw light in a white police officer's face when I was like eight years old one time. He pushed up four heat. We've been in projects on the West Side. She threw a loaded light in his face and scarred. He didn't shoot her nothing. My grandmother was a gangster, baby. I knew I was from good stock. <laughs> But today I'm at the, the Big Maddie show. Mm -hmm. Eminem, melts in your mouth and not in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie and Monroe, melts in your mouth and not in your hand. These men know just what they want because so I have been saying, do you know what they're saying? Say it again for the people in the back, why don't you? <laughs> they know. Those men know what they're going after. They like they what do. they like they because like they haven't even told me I like what I want. They've and I know that and I don't care. I done heard them tell me I don't care. Because it's already beautiful women in the world. Naturally beautiful. We can have your baby, can get naturally wet for you and everything else. Well, so don't run around here telling someone, I thought she was so beautiful and she has a penis, but that's not really my, that's not, that don't, I don't even address it. The yeah. last you tell, because all the yeah. queens I know, if you don't touch it, nigga, you out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I know they lying. They lying, Miss Mary. I, I done seen, I done been around to, to know it. I, when I want to learn something, I want to know something I'm going to ask. That's the best way to do, Miss Mary. That's what people need to start doing, asking a question. Oh, Are you going to take me and I get my hat on? I'm no. sorry. Let me put my hat on. But somebody see my naturally blonde hair. Mm -hmm. You think you want to be made up before you be on camera? Oh, no, I don't care about that, Miss Mary. Oh, I'm so okay. secure in who I am, I don't care about that. Okay. I don't care what you and call me. And then I don't watch the ones who stand in the room and say, Ooh, I can't, I can't stand these punks. I can't stand these faggots and all that. Y'all better get a video camera because sometimes Jake from State Farm look just like me. <laughs> 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 who didn't see us calling me? Excuse me, y'all. Hold on. Hello. Is Manny and stuff says getting Dre? I think she's just like showering and all that other stuff. That washing that booty take about 25 minutes by itself. <laughs> Cause that don't make no sense. That's just too much air. <laughs> That's all that good cooking, Miss Mary. <laughs> uh, uh, they got nothing to do about cooking. They got that to do about Baby, cooking. Baby, I'm telling you something. I'm renting a room back there. I got section eight. Let me rent me a room. Let me see if she got any one beer rooms available with that booty. <laughs> <laughs> I love coming to the South just to see the people and the camaraderie, see so many black people and working and everything. I cannot live in the South. Good God, I can't live in the South. 
Why? They accept racism, and I just don't. They don't, not, not to say that they accept it, that's the wrong word. They just comply with it. I was spinning, put, <laughs> God, I'll spin away. <laughs> I'll put that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and this current administration has got folks feeling uh, real jiggy right now. Uh, they, like they, they can walk up and do baby, they and, 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 and they have been and uh, have been getting away with it. Because uh, that whole Amber Guyan thing over there in Texas, where she shot that black man, ain't no. To, to hell with her getting 10 years. I was upset about that. To hell with the brother showing her love. Cause who know what kind of house he was raised in. His mother's raised that him with love and forgiveness. It was. But for the judge to get her black ass off that bitch and go get that woman a hug. No ma'am. <laughs> hell no. Hell no. She should be removed from her position. Take her and no, Kavanaugh. Yes ma'am. They demonstrated Christian. Cause you know what? Baby Christian killed the Jews. You can talk <laughs> I don't, don't, don't. Yes. Look, Miss Mary, we don't go to that whole Christian thing. Cause no, the they, more Malcolm X I read, there's a lot of things that Christians. Do yes, that they I have. Christians are accountable for a whole lot of foolishness. You can open that Bible and see things happening one by one right now. Yes, ma'am, Miss Mary. Girl, you couldn't say that says I'm having the best conversation with Miss Mary. Miss Mary, we need you for the podcast. We have Miss Mary got this. Yeah. Girl, we is out of drag. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. We out of drag, girl. You got to stay over there. Don't get too close, bitch. Don't get too close. See, I'm not one of those girls. I don't give a damn what she buys. <laughs> but me and I, we going to be dark. Baby, you give less to read, honey, when you like that. Baby, what you done brought this suitcase? You staying the night up here tonight, man? Flame is in here. Oh, Flame is in yeah, the suitcase. Flame is in the suitcase. Flame is in the suitcase. Yeah, in who, we, who am I talking to right here? You talking to Frank right now. Frank! <laughs> Frank, man! Baby, I'm having the best conversation with Miss Mary. We so you and Miss Mary done over here kicking it in. Miss Mary around. have decided to have talks about everything. So you should have been here. Don't worry, you got on tape. I'll be on tape. Me and Miss Mary went across the Bible, across friendship. So did you did Miss Mary offer you any of that good sauce meat over there? She almost, she almost started the beat. I, no, my gummy is kicking in. I'm in a place. Oh, you went, you took a gummy. Would you like one? No, <laughs> Mary. No, I don't want a gummy. No, Flay. I don't take those edible things, girl. Okay. No. Girl, I would never. Know. You might eat too much of Miss Mary's cooking. I know. would never eat any of that stuff. I told her. I said, listen, I don't like being in those places trying to eat those guns and stuff. How you get that kind of shit on the plane any damn way? Girl, this is in California. You said it's legal in California. Oh, you in California right now. Right. Uh, you came to my house in California. You know what? Did you have a gummy already? Did you? No, I ain't have oh. a gummy, bitch. <laughs> I'm talking about honey. How did you get them on the plane? In my purse. They be so busy checking for these that they don't ever check this. <laughs> oh no, I don't eat that. Oh, girl. Let me go. Where, where's my. Maddie, why do you have every makeup artist in this city wearing my inbox out? <laughs> trying to get to you, trying to get to paint me for this thing. Uh huh. And I got two amazing makeup artists. I said, I, 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 which should be here. We should be here at 3 p.m. Like four or five people out here up and it's like, she has her own team. I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Baby, you got your hand there too? Is oh, it yeah. human? No, 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 no. I just got my sister. Girl, you're not got my sister. I'll get my little curly hair. Well, my curly hair, my glasses. I brought some glasses too, so we can both look smart for Oh, me. so you, so no, I'll slide them on when I, when I feel smart. But we're going to be real ratchet tonight, Flame. Oh, we, but we're going to cover, I want to cover all the bases, man. Yeah, we're going to be ratchet. And they, they're expecting us to be good at eating and get up. But I still want us to cover the whole circumference of everything. I want us to talk about the politics, the LGBT, I, I got you. I relationship. But well, wait, listen, there's a show. I want to talk to you about the relationship that you have with your mother because I don't have that. Right. And I admire that whenever I see people who have a good relationship with their mother. All right. So all of that. Well, there's a, all well, there's except a, my there, kids. Well, there's a, <laughs> I ain't talking about no cheering. Fuck the well, movie. there's an after show that we have. When we replace the after show, it's called Cracking the Cold Cases. Don't zoom in on me. <laughs> it's called Cracking the Cold Cases. Right, you tell me about that. So what, what are you talking about? Well, Oliver's about to, after he cuts his arm, he's about to dig into some things because I told him to research you first. There's a few things that I'm going to put number one on the list. Ooh. Girl, so, please don't be that loud about me being a number Christian one. and all that. You know, uh, that it's number lie. one. Not that you one about me. You already have number one? It, no, it's what you think is number one is number one. Not oh, that okay, one about good. me being uh, a conservative Christian and none of that. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. no. That was all of that. Oh, that was no. that logo shit. That's why I never worked with logo. Oh. That's Tiffany Haddish texting me there. 
Oh. What she said, is she gonna watch the show, tell her to share it on her stuff, girl, tell her to put it up. Alright, so all of them cut it off until we I have relationships sure with women. In. I have relationships with women. I deal with trans men that they look like men, but they're women. And if I'm talking to my trans man, I'm talking aggressively like a man, and we talk about sports, and she calls me or he calls me he, I'm fine with that. So if I'm talking to you about church or God, and I feel aggressive, and you say he, Miss Mary, we fine. If I'm talking to you about, oh, Miss Mary, who is this cute man just came to the door? Why he all sexy? And you feel like you're talking to a girl, and you say she, guess what, Miss Mary? We fine. I ain't I, one of them. I ain't one of them. I'm a whole, I'm a whole have, person. Listen, I have respect for whatever people want to be called. I'm going to call them what they want to be called. Well, well I, this flame and I is different. So flame, just like I told that nigga when I was at that radio station who told me he knew you. What was that dog skin nigga name that I knew? He worked on, he worked on the TV show and I met him at the, at the radio station. I was down there and he walked in the door. First of all, he didn't know my tears. Miss Mary, look at that. You see that? Hold uh -huh. on, let me get this to your mom. Cause this is my title That's right here, Miss Mary. He, she, we. That's he cashed crazy. a check, she spend the money, and, and we, I mean, he cashed the check, she get the money, we spend it. You know, you know about that. So you gonna do that tonight on the show? Of course, I got you fancy. Oh, this well, listen, mine gonna say she, That's she, That's she, That's she. Mine gonna you say she, she. Okay, you finished? You finished? No, this one is yours. I know you was gonna be here. 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 I know you Girl, you came with uh, what, your manager, or uh, what's his Gio. name? That's who you came with. Or well, he came to pick you up. He was the man. And then you came to the club and did the show. So yeah, so no. But Miss Mary, well, I know Miss Mary. Miss Mary is probably as popular on social media as you are. Yeah. <laughs> I try to explain it to her. Yeah. And me and Miss Mary have had. You know what I respect about your mom? We have just had the best adult. Grown up, no holes barred, no profanity even needed conversation about what, what haven't we talked about besides that? You know, you look like my, you look like my, don't she look like a McCreary mama? Yeah, with that hat on. What's a McCreary? Your daddy's people. No, my granddad. Wait a minute now, hold on, Mary. My granddaddy family. Oh, uh, now that, now you see that, ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to say, oh. <laughs> no, no. That was a joke, Miss Mary. I know. <laughs> Please don't pay no attention to me because I'm saying anything will roll out. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God. Oh. I have not been to the to Georgia. I used to come here when I was a kid because we got family in LaGrange, Georgia. And I used to have a cousin. He wasn't my first or my second cousin. But he was 14 years old and he used to sexually molest me and I used to absolutely love it. He didn't ever rape me, maybe give him no head or not. He was just touching ground on me and make me feel all girly. And he used to let me watch him and his girlfriend do it. Oh my God. Those were the best summers. <laughs> Yeah, the best summers. <laughs> Man, we, I would like to talk about this on the podcast, but you know our podcast in Middle Spreading ain't here. Our showrunner ain't here. He on the way. Oh, Mary, I'm good. You ain't in no rush issue. What is that? You ain't in no rush issue because what are you call it. Because you know the last guest that we had over here, me and Craig got into a drop a, a, a drop down windmill because he was like, "Well, the guest was like they had to go." And I, I said, "Why the guests ain't telling me that? Why are you telling me they're not the guests?" These my fr you my friend, so I, I I'm planning on you sitting here to 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 the sun come up in the morning, which you not. But when you came here, you came here because you my Judy. When I came to your house, you had he had to put me out. But it was time for the kids to go to bed, and we sat there all day, all night. Don't fuck the kids. <laughs> here she go. I'm sick of my kids. Here she go about the cheering. I'm sick of them damn them kids spending money before I can make it shit. Yeah. Oh, well, there's so much stuff I want to talk about, but I don't want to talk about it. Don't go in there. Just make it know. So we go. And we oh, wait, listen, that's on the top of my head. Oh, we we will, know, we no, no. Now, what, now, what you this. do need to know throughout is because I've been telling this heifer here for at least five years I know of, because I've been back to California for four, that she needs to be doing stand up. She needs to be on somebody's comedy stage in some hole in the wall room doing it. What flame? I'm not as fast as you when it comes down to stuff like Girl, that. Girl, please, all all that reading you do, so you I mean, I can read, that. but it's just that I got the. It, it comes so it comes naturally off the woo, and like you, you listen. I told Oliver the other. I said, Oliver, you 
you don't want a day of a, of a match with that that mouse. That mouse is nothing that you don't want a day. And, and I know I want you to cut this part out. I don't want to if you ain't gonna like everybody you meet, and everybody ain't gonna like you, and it's okay. It is okay. Some people just don't have the same chemistry. Just like, ugh, oh, I don't even want to be around because she getting on my damn nerves. Man, I posted this thing up this morning. Girl, they is on it. Girl, them things been all on my Twitter. That's how I knew you posted it because I was like, who is tweeting me by flame? Uh, I told you, you told me boys I got here, and yeah. this morning I was gonna do it, but I was going to be it. I know. I got my so, Oliver, me. don't catch me on this side. I done told you it's that. Bright, I don't give a fuck. I done told you. It looks. Catch me it looks. And the, and girl, I don't like being. It's, it's they don't get it because they're not a part of this. They not. They don't be a part of those reads that be carrying on. I don't be liking to hear that. Even though people gonna read you anyway, I don't care. Do I'm you, not gonna. Do you read all the stuff, man? I don't read it all, but I see it. No, it's not about me reading it all. It's, a, read it. it's, it's not about me reading it all. It's about me having to see it. It's about threads of it going on. Oh, yeah. It's about threads of it. I don't give a fuck how don't nobody else don't care about that shit. But it's about, for me, it be threads of that stuff that I don't like waking up to every single morning, which, which you already know, Flame. Negativity is going to overpower anything positive. So for the five great things I put out and the one piece of little bit of read that I allow, that I give them out there, you know, knowing I'm not really camera ready, knowing my wig might be to the side, knowing my hair might be fucked up, knowing this stuff, a person takes moments of that, out of all the good pictures that I take and put online, they take the worst pictures of me and make articles about it. I, I can't give them worst pictures. If you're gonna write a motherfucking article, bitch, you're gonna have to use a good picture. You're gonna have to use a good picture. This is what you're gonna have That's to do. That's your philosophy. I just don't look at it like that. I know you don't. Lot, my fast but you you, you gonna you gonna you take you gonna write a bad you gonna write an article about me, you gonna catch me in a moment of me saying how I feel about rights and this and the other and whoop de whoop. Who is that? Somebody calling me. Rights and this and the other. If you gonna talk to me about that flame. Your folks is here. We have an educational moment with T.S. Madison, and uh, I'm, I'm a student today. I'm learning. If you going to talk about me, if you going to talk about me, and you going you, you gonna to gonna be forced to give me, you're going to be forced to do what's right, what's right. Oh. Oh, what you got to say? No. He should run for Congress. Girl. She. Uh -huh. We not been to that <laughs> How do you think that we're going to be able to demand respect if we're not going to be able to give respect to each other? Explain. Mm -hmm. We can't do that now. Maddie, oh, we're talking about our community, right? Yeah. Okay. But we're talking Wait, hold about... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because we're talking about our community. I'm, let, me, let me just put you on this. We talking about the LGBT community, right? That is correct. What is he at? It's at the end. At the very end. Hmm. Because let me tell you something. The reason we have no power and no position of power is because the men, the, the gay men, speak up for us because that's what we allow. And we have allowed it and we will continue to allow it. Because if Laverne don't think like the white gay men in Hollywood want her to think, bitch, you won't see another Laverne Cox. LGB dot 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 T. What Dave Chappelle said was real shit. You didn't like his delivery, but his message was spot on. The nigga said that there's a pecking order. It's true. White gay men, because a gay white man in America is still a white man in America. Then the lesbians, then the bisexuals, and what you got wrong was the trainers. We sit on the outside, kind of like the Batman's machine. We sit on the side. They only pull us out, bitch, for decoration or parade or benefit or a show. Then they put us back. But they don't put us in the boardroom to make decisions for us about us. They don't do that. And we allow that. But we got this thing that bitch speaking, mm -hmm. tell these kids that, oh, you were born and they gave you the wrong gender. If you hate your genitalia before you transition, you're going to hate your genitalia after you transition. I love my dick. My God. I praise my dick every day. My I know God. bitches that worship my dick. Mm -hmm. Niggas too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad at it. 
And if we keep asking for inclusion in the gay community, ooh, see ya, see ya, see ya. Bitch, we don't include each other. It's so much racism and separatism and ageism and classism in the gay community. We can't ask somebody to fix our shit and we don't want to fix our shit. Girl, fuck them punks. I said it. Fuck them punks. Pay me. That's the only thing you can do. But like, this is my bitch. thing. Hold on, but Flame, this is my thing. I'm listening to you. There's <laughs> lots of things that I agree with you with to a degree, and then stuff that I that I'm on the board I just disagree with you with. Because well, we agree to disagree. I just okay. We done moved on to a point where I don't I don't I ain't with no the people he and me because I just not that's not my presentation. My presentation is not he, and so I feel like that we as girls that 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 present ourselves as as she. And say this is what this is what we want to be, you know, respected as mm -hmm. or, or communicated as. I don't think we on the inside, because I've done it myself, which I feel like I was doing it out of a, of, of a place of malice, because you, we use that as as it's not a Craig, give me the word pejorative. It's not a pejorative as other things like faggot and uh -huh. you know stuff. But it, if it's used in a way, if it's used in a way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the way the word is delivered that gives the word power. And it's I've a always, venom behind it. Yeah, I've always said that. But this is the thing. If you as a trans woman and I as a trans woman, and, and, and honestly, that woman ain't did nothing to neither one of us. Well, I'm not disputing who, what, and, what she and, is. And, and we say, we use the, we use the term he in when we talk well, I never use it as a dig when I say it. Oh, okay. I'll use it as a dig. But with the word faggot, you know, they say she feels that faggot, the gay community is up and on. How many times have you got a two of one of the punks and the first thing you said, you fucking faggot? How many times you say two faggots in love and hate? Wait, in love and hate, say, bitch, I'm looking at him, I saw him first, you fucking faggot, out of love, and then get mad at another guy, say, you fucking faggot. So what did he say that we don't say? This is all I'm asking. What did he say that we don't say, that we up in arms about? Well, because, you know, they don't take ownership of, of we take, hold on, this is my debate. Okay. We take ownership in, our, in who we are, and we know we communicate with each other. That's just like you black on black, we say a nigga. I say nigga white folks. I did a show the other night with a whole set of hot city Jews. A whole room full. Bitch, I use nigga about 12 times. You're a, but, you're, but you're a comic, though. What's you're the license. difference? It's nope. the word. You are the license. word. The, am I cut? Am I bleeding anywhere? Six and so. I, I teach at a class once a semester a month. But worse once a semester a year and teach to the, the new millennials, these new teachers. You know they had never heard the phrase six and stones will break my bones. These was all 20 something. They had never heard it. I was floored. Bitch, we all know that. Six and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt. Bitch, you can call me whatever you want. That don't phase me. My skin cut. Did my checking account change? Not at all. I, 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 I and Flan, I'm, I'm understanding exactly the things that you're saying here because what you're saying is sound. It's it's right, and it's, but there's also a connection to that. I feel like no sticks and stones may not break your bones, and words can't hurt you. However, words have power behind words. If you Be give it to them. But correct. When you when we, when people battling and they say and they say nigga, mm -hmm. you can say nigga in this way and then you can say nigga with this hot comb behind it going in the bitch face. <laughs> I say nigga every day. So, but I, 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 I we love I, and hate. I get it, but we we can't say that words don't have. We can't say that they don't. I, if you, if, let me explain this to you first of all. If you don't mean nothing to me, you can call me anything you want. I, bitch, I don't know you. I'll never see you again. I get it. It ain't what you say to me because my clapback will cut your head off and make you kill yourself. <laughs> That's what you need to be prepared for because this is always cocked and ready. This is an arsenal. And I store information, bitch, like the government. Uh, it don't have no power with me. If you don't. So if you walk up to me and what, some white person say, you fucking nigger. <laughs> Girl, you don't get your stupid ass away from me. I just keep on walking. I get it. Nothing. It mean, but if it's a friend and I love you or you mean something to me and it's a family member, that is where the power comes in. Because if you mean nothing to me, or I don't mean nothing to you, you don't mean shit to me? Fuck you. Kiss my dick in the face. I don't give a fuck. I get it. I get it. And all the, the, the trans community, I love my sisters and brothers, and I'm a ride with them when they write. But when you write and I see that it's right, I'm with you. And when I see it's wrong, I'm not going to agree with you. But if you can school me and educate me and make me see it your way, Guess what? I'm on board. Yeah, I'm but but, this, but no, because I do feel like that there's that there is a, a, a huge importance.
to agree to disagree. There's a huge importance to, for it to be a differences in opinions, a difference of views. I do see that because we, because you and I have had our talks uh-huh. where where we've said that sometimes the community try to make us sing one song. We all sing one song, and and there are there is so much. There's a, a large percentage of things that I agree with, with, with when you say stuff and then there's a percentage that I'm like well that well that's not that's Your not experience. my story that's okay. not my experience. and I get that part and, and I get that. you know and, and, and we have to we respect you know that's why you and I remain friends and I have been good to you because one I respect that you as who you who you are and where you came from and and as far as you being a iconic figure some people may not know and understand you know the contribution that you've given to us as a black one, two, gay, three, dot 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 t. Baby, you better do it again. Say it, for, say it again for the people in the back. Why don't you? One African American, <laughs> two a trans woman, three dot 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 dot. T. We are the afterthought in the gay community. But for me, here's where here's where I'm gonna always be devil's advocate. For me. Baby, close that door. <laughs> you got you the water running, we recording y'all, y'all, you and you, Miss Mary, the hell, none of y'all don't give a damn. <laughs> but <laughs> you know this thing. But, but, it's <laughs> but all right. here's where my thing is, okay. For me, growing up, there were two things that I saw on television. One, the very first thing I saw on television was RuPaul, Andre Charles, please, please don't drag him. Who? RuPaul. RuPaul. I don't, I don't even know Ru. Okay. I was on TV for Ru. I, but this, but the first thing I saw was RuPaul, Andre Charles. As I grew in older enough, and we had cable TV. In Come the on, house. Mother Mary, preparing your cable bill. <laughs> no, she don't. She don't have cable in her house now. It was my aunt that I lived with that had cable. So when I grew older, and she, she. They, I was able to see BET and group. You were the first, well, the only person that was a representation of what I was on the inside, who I was on the inside, or whatever. And I was like, wait, wait a minute. So we can get, so we can, so we can get on television. For people out there that don't know, and we're gonna do this on the podcast too in a moment. Um. Flame was the very first transgender co- uh, comedian to set foot on BET, BET's Comic View. You know, be transgender identified, not gay man, not nigga that's putting on, not blaming on Quays, not <laughs> other people that put their wigs on and take their wigs off for, for entertainment. Trans woman, not fucking not Neva. Now, anybody that puts a wig on and takes it off that embodies the character, she identifies as a trans woman, and I was like, oh my God. Like, I had never seen it before until it was always RuPaul. RuPaul. And black. So, for me, this was whatever. I, I reverenced you immediately. And when you and I began to communicate, I gave you, I reverenced you for that because I was like, you know, because I know eventually in life, I'm going to be a television star. If not, I'm going to be, I'm making myself a television star via web TV. So she got it down, y'all. She got it. So for me, what, where, where, what, what this, and then when I had the opportunity to sit down and communicate with you and talk, and you gave me such encouraging words and stuff like that, and then you started breaking down who you are and how you feel to me, and I was like, this is different. This is different. This is different for me. And then when you said things, because I was when I when I burst on the scene as a phenomenon, it was through Vine. I had already been on the scene. I already had this. I keep it already had, but it was through Vine. And by it being through Vine or whatever, it, it was it introduced to the people as a. <gasps> how does she have a date? <gasps> yeah, it's just a, I thought you were a girl. <laughs> it's, how does she have dick? And I didn't hear any communications about the way I felt about my genitalia as you, because you love your genitalia, I love mine too. And I didn't hear lots of conversations. Most trans girls do, to be honest. But I didn't hear lots of conversation about this because, like you said, and I'm, I'm, I, this is why I'm on the board, I'm on the, I'm on the line with you, walking it. Like you said, 
a lot of the trans women have put into not only the gay and the, the T, they've also put in women's mind that we are envious of them because we don't like our genitalia and we want to have our ultimate goal, we want to have pussies. And this is why the very first thing that when a woman and, and, and a queen get into it, the first mode of attack is, bitch, you don't, bitch, I got a real pussy, I'm a real woman, and you could never be a real woman because you want a pussy and you don't got one. Sure. And growing, yeah, and growing in those, in those places, I said, this is why I agree with you with the thing that you said. I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> and please love me after this. Bitch, we having a conversation. What am I, 12? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, honestly, it's not what you say, it's the delivery. Okay, that's what I say, everything I say about Dave Chappelle. It's not my delivery, it's my message. I mean, it's not my message, it's my delivery. I'm not going to change the delivery. These new millennials need to be hitting the head with a ton of so this why They don't hear shit. But this is why it's important for people not to erase you, not to erase me, because they want to erase, they wanted to erase me because I've been, I've been genitalia positive. That's the words I want to use. Genitalia positive. I didn't cross over the mainstream. They can't erase me, bitch. They can kiss my ass. Oh, no, I, listen. I, I, I done breached it and then went and, and still in my lane. Ain't no bitch gonna be able to erase tears. What's because the I line? My lane. Can't no bitch do what, what I, I do. do. You better say it again. <laughs> say it again for the people in the back, my nose. Can't no bitch do what I do. If everybody thought like that, male and female, even if the guys don't call themselves a bitch, you only have time to be focused on you. You ain't got time to be focused on no other person. I'm only in competition with the bitch from the blue dress or the special for the one hour special. Cause when Netflix come with the five million dollar offer, bitch, I'm signing it. Ain't no negotiating, bitch, I'm signing it immediately. I'll sign it with my left hand, bitch, in a foreign language, bitch, how for me. I don't give a fuck, I'm signing it. <laughs> it's five million, it's five million. So, Craig, have you been recording this on the podcast too? Uh-huh. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah, we finna do the podcast. Oh! Oh, 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 Thank you. Thank you. You, you the beauty. I don't think that nice piece, though. Those people are boys playing the drag. Yeah. I'm a, a grown ass woman. See, man, you see, I switch up and go from heel to You see? I try to do that. Uh uh. That's very good. Miss Mary, get your kids. Now listen, Flay, I want to make a point. Listen, Flay, listen, hear me. I'm listening to you. You know, my sister right here, when she refer you, she refer you as he. That's fine. Not with me, though. Okay, well, she was talking to you. She was talking to me. I get it, but... Why you always got to take a minute? I just said, why do the trans community always want to fight? It ain't about fighting. It's hold about on, bra. It's it why you got the... It's why, why you got the... This is why it's important that for everybody... Okay, let me ask you a question. Have you changed your name, baby? No. So when the checks come, they come in ten. Well, they come. They hold on, hold on. Answer the question, but, but you got to act like Donald Trump. Oh, yes, they do. When the checks come, they come. They in do Timmy. do that. And he cash the check. Who get the money? Man, she. And that's a combo. He she. <laughs> He cash the check, yeah. she get the money, we spend it. One bitch. Yeah, okay, I understand you. that. You see, you see I that? understand that. <laughs> cool you down, but, but, look at the words. <laughs> Check the words. I see Hashtag, bitch. Yeah, he, she, with. Yeah, One bitch. But those are... You've been pimping yourself for how many years? But those years. are your... That's your <laughs> idea. Because Timothy been pimping Maddie. Yeah. Timothy don't make shit. But I want Maddie you to make the money. But listen... Take that wig off, bitch. Let's do it. Listen, but this is the thing. I don't want anybody... And I need to say this. Hold on. Y'all talking loud. I need to say this. Because this is serious. And I and don't ne- I ain't introduced Timothy to now one of you pussy ass bitches. So therefore, you motherfucking oh, okay. hoes, you I motherfucking hoes ain't got no authority to even speak to me in that direction. Because bitch, one you ain't a bill that I owe. Two you ain't a bitch I know. Ooh. So you can you that may re- like a song, you may refer to flame in those places. See, this is where you hoes got to get y'all shit together and respect people's individual. It, flame may go for that type of motherfucking shit, but T. S. Madison do not. Well, why you got to get so hostile? You jumping up and shit like that. You ain't gonna do shit. You gotta get all hard and shit. You ain't gay and right now, bitch. But, we ain't Kyers. But this is what I'm saying. But this is, but this is what I'm saying. This is why it's imperative. Uh, this one. She was 
talking to me. She was talking to you, and I hear what you're saying about, but we can't categorize ourselves all as one people. I'm not like the next but, bitch. But they do Ain't that. nobody like nobody else. I know, but like they do do that. I don't give a fuck what they do. I'm telling you what I do. I don't give a fuck what no other bitch do. Cause ain't nobody else paying me. I know this man. <laughs> this is why. Especially I, my community. But this is why when I met that gentleman that met, that met and knew you, he felt this though, and this is why it's important to tell people, hey, my my line starts out. This the way it is with me to you say hi. You talking about NY? Well, I don't know what that dark, black ass nigga, he don't know, he and them Tyler Perry oh. moving too. I met that nigga and I called you on the phone with that nigga on the phone. I gave him your phone number and you was like, y'all ain't, you ain't worked with him in a long time. He was that comic. And I told that nigga, oh, don't you ever in your life. Rodney Perry. Rodney Perry. That's who it was. I said, nigga, don't you ever in your fucking life think that because you know Flame Monroe, that bitch, you got the, you have the authority to call me he. You better call her and ask her, <laughs> bitch, don't try me like this. Cause you think she vicious, I'm 10 years younger bitch and I'm motherfucking quicker. Bitch when it come down to frying a nigga. Now I don't know about no comic joke, but fucking a nigga, uh uh, reading a nigga to death, nigga you don't know me like that. Oh, I remember you told me that. Oh, I just and we cool. end up being cool yeah, right after that. Cool, dude. But I just had to let that nigga know, nigga what may, what one may, what, what may be good for the gee goose ain't good for the gamble over here. Yes, we in the same bird family, bitch, because she got a big bird and I got a big motherfucking bird too. Yeah. But bitch, the I got a sex change. I got a vagina. Well, bitch, why the hell are you that? <laughs> Oh, uh, Maddie, oh, I remember that now when you just, yeah. I can't remember who it was. It was Rodney Perry. Rodney Perry lives here. Mm -hmm. He lives in Atlanta. I don't give a fuck about the people. The people don't fuck. It's flash. And this is the thing. They like the way you talk because that sounds good to straight people. I'm just being 100. That's what I make my money at, though. Um, so I just, I just do what I suppose. The gays don't book me like that. And, and with that whole issue, I, I'm telling you, it's too shaky for me with that. Yeah. The, the gauge that's important that's booking me right now is in white Hollywood. What the white was in Hollywood with all the real money. Mm -hmm. Cause us, we play too much. Cause the white gays in Hollywood still running. You're right. When they say playing stand in the corner, guess what I did? This one or that? Mm -hmm. That's why I wore the ugly ass blue dress. <laughs> so they said, "Would you like to wear this?" They so strategic with their shit though. They don't tell you what to do. They just. Oh, we, we think that this would look really good on camera. Do you have a problem with wearing it? Then they put the contract in front of you. And you see them numbers, you're like, oh, no, not at all. Do you understand what I'm saying, Oliver? And my, uh, both of us are making sense. No, no, no I absolutely mm -hmm. understand yeah, what I, you're saying, of, but, but you have to take, keep, keep everybody's individuality. And yes. I don't think like the next person thing because I'm not the next person. I know that, Flame, I know. Everybody is different. So when you categorize us all as one, which is what I think the trans community is doing, they're trying to make us a whole. I'm not a part no, of the which whole. Is also what the straight community thinks. No, let me show you. Like you put that on top of it, though. The straight community thinks this way, too. I don't know no straight folks. I, I, I want to be honest with the ladies in the room. Ladies, you are all genetic. You know, in the, in the top, in the front, in the fore part of your mind, you're, you're, you're going to say he. Unless it's like, you tell like, 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 look, yeah, this is like like me. No. I ain't with the he this shit. Yeah, they let you know. I, I don't I, present the. I don't present to anybody as he. I don't walk up and say, yeah. "Hey, he." Okay. I don't present. That's I'm not what I present. Okay. You get what I'm that saying? Mm -hmm. So, I okay. the requirement for me is if if, if, if we all like if, if that was a respectful thing to me. The requirement for flame is I don't give a fuck. <laughs> At all. Maddie, when you was a little when you was young, I haven't said you was a little boy, when you was young, who'd you learn how to be a feminine from and be a girl from? Watching what? Watching whom? You watched whom you become feminine. Did you watch another little boy? No. Who'd you watch? I see my mom. And who else? My aunt. And your cousin, and these are women. Mm -hmm. This is how you learn how to be a woman. This is my issue when they say that they were born and the doctors assigned them a sex. Cause had we not had women to emulate and, 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 and watch and impersonate, we would be little hard ass niggas running around here cause we would know how to do hair and pretty makeup and dress like girls. We would know how to be feminine. I just think that it discredits women and it discounts the woman. Your mama is a woman. The first woman of trans, a tranny, any tranny, the first woman she really watched and learned is her mama without even knowing that she was watching her mom. That's how you learn how to be a girl. So I'm not gonna let them take anything from a woman, and that's not because I have relationships with women. Shit, I still have a relationship with, well, I don't have a relationship with no trade, but you know, I have suck on it, whatever. Um, uh. But you, this is, to me, it's disrespectful to women. 
when we say shit like that. But what? Say stuff like what? That you were born and the doctor saying you're sex because now you like you just discounting the women. When you watch a woman, your mother, your auntie, your cousins, how to become a woman. This is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not taking nothing from us. But to me, it looks like we're taking from them and we're not giving them the credit for it. We learn how to be women from watching women. Which is what makes up, to me, we still female in person. Now, we, like I said, we live in a free country. Yeah, I, don't, we identify, do whatever listen, we want I don't identify as female. I don't. I'm a trans woman. Okay. Tranny is a bad word now. I mean, when we lived to be called a tranny, it was better than them saying, oh, you know that's the man. Now we, oh, you, oh, girl, she called me a tranny. Now that's offensive. Every fucking thing is offensive. You know what's wrong with these millennials? They need a good fist fight. <laughs> they need to have a good old, an old fashioned, no knives, no guns, whoop ass whooping fist fight. 315, black out like this. Remember, you remember those days, bitch? Mm -hmm. Fight on Monday, meme up each other on Tuesday, smile at each other on Wednesday, Thursday, y'all friends again, Friday, y'all fucking. Everybody live to tell the story. <laughs> Ain't nobody dead, everybody cool, you know, I don't want to fight with this nigga. Some of those people that you fought with when you was 10, you might be lifelong best friends with in your life. But everybody lives to tell the story. These millennials is fighting behind this right here. I got a hundred dislikes. Bitch, I don't know a hundred people. I don't give a fuck what you think. Did my check clear through the bank? That's all I need to know. My kids say, I'm cool. <laughs> we, as a trans community, always want to fight. We, as a gay community, always want to fight. But we need to fight. Donald Trump is erasing the trans community every day. The day he got elected in office, the LGBT rest that came down off the presidential I the very saying, ain't no ain't no fags in the gay community who has no parade, no march about that. Ain't not, not one word. But because we can't use this bathroom, or because you called me the wrong pronoun, we ready to throw a march. Fight for the real shit. When they fight for the real shit, bitch, I'll be standing in the front line with a pistol. Two of them. But, but Flame, that's, but this is the thing. You, you've made this, sometimes I feel like that you make it singular. I'm a single person. I know. I'm not part of the group. Because I never fit into, I was one of the square pegs that didn't fit into the round holes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that I think for myself. And, and I that, see the entire that, world. I know that, Flame, but that's not, mm -hmm. I don't think that it's not thinking. Because like I said, I'm not in disagreement with some, with some of the things that she's, I, I do. But it's just for me because, I, honestly, God, I really, that, I really felt that man disrespect me. And I, well, he did. I felt that he did. He did. He felt, and he felt that he didn't. He didn't do anything wrong because he was comfortable with me. But see, he don't know me as personally. He only know me at the comedy club. So we joke with each other like. So how he came at you? He, he don't even come at me like the comedy club. And that's we on stage joining with each other. So I don't even know what made him feel had the balls to do that to you. But you changed him. You told him right. But yeah. So I don't disagree with how you felt about that because that nigga don't know you. And it was disrespectful. You should have choked today. I would. <laughs> I think he came that from that conversation. Kid, it's a kid. Get your little bad ass little boy. Period. Little boys, little boys is good. This needs bad ass little girl. This needs bad. Cause Oliver kept looking, and I was like, whoa. And he kept giving uh, Regina, he kept giving Regina all this the praise girl and gave you zero. And I was like, what is going on? Not all the people talking about me so bad talking about some all state but she did I'm complimenting you. I just won't say nothing else. I'll just well, be quiet. You, Oliver. Thank you. And then when y'all leave, I'll read. Because Madison be trying to throw me on the you gotta say tell me that. Right. I just be looking. I just was looking. It's like you be making life. Yeah, I just was looking. I don't know nothing about that. Okay, so, so since we couldn't get it five, can we at least get 530? But it's good. Okay. Well, I'm just adjusting two minutes. I ain't gonna put on the TV. I'm sitting down. Oh, let's go. I'm putting my panties on. T-shirt with my panties on. Yeah, but I need y'all to take my, um, I need y'all to take my, um, Y'all stuff down there just for touch because you know those lights get real warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A big lash, Regina. A big lash. What is it, Regina? It ain't gonna be the big lash. It's semi big. It's big enough. It's big enough. 
I don't need to be because I got to oh, she gonna give me glasses to put on too. That was a joke. I got you. <laughs> It, it still might be. It's bigger. Well, how you get? It's big enough. Oh, nigga, go. I'll, be, I'll catch you on the next door. You tried the fair powder by um, Ben Nye? I'd like to put that under the eye. Girl, it's 522, y'all. I'm going to get flashed. 522. I'm going to get flashed. 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 We'll just flip it up. Because I got to put shades on anyway. Alright. What I look like on camera? You need help with that. Oh, yeah, I got a gravel, a gavel too? Mm hmm. Well, change my name to Cameron, oh, goddammit. And let me get away with some rapes. <laughs> and then here's your. Let um... me put my phone in your drop. Hey, Mo, when you get a chance, put something up for me so I can I drop Maddie's glasses. Will you get them? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me uh, put my phone on silent. Let me going up under my dress while you <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at your feet. I'm wondering who's worse, yours or Madison. Ooh. Well done. I just, they just need a little dry and ashy. That's because I've been walking around. That's how Madison's too. feet always are. Just look at some of the previous videos. Oh, I like the look at <laughs> Okay, look, I'm going to show you this real quick. So this side is the only side you really have to pay attention to. Okay. That side is, you know, what we're going to bring up next. So whatever you see here, that's what the audience can see. Okay. When there's a video, they can't hear you. Now there's a couple, there's, a, there's one video on here that says no sound. On that particular one, you can talk because they'll be able to hear you. But if it's a video, just kind of wait until the video ends because any commentary that you want to give, they're not going to hear it. Okay. With the exception of that one. But if there's a picture, they can always hear you, even if you can't see yourself. Okay. All right. There's your mic. This is the camera. So whenever you want to look right at them and give it to them, you want to give it to them right there. Oh, uh, did I believe Maddie's fan? I left both the fans upstairs. I'm going to turn this fan on too, though. No, no, but no. You wanna... a little, I want to give oh, her a fan so she can okay. it on TV. You know? All right. And well, I'm going to turn... Bring her glasses. Right yeah. And I'm going to turn that on for you. Silent. Cause it will start ringing. Um, so no, I still wanted to hear the other part of what you were saying. We might have to turn this on though, cause about, she don't want. About money. <laughs> we had to turn this on. She about money. And she would have been executive producer, so that back end money, fuck the talent money. The yeah. back end money is ridiculous. Hey y'all, I'm here. But she just clowned, and then she clowned. Oprah. I'm here. It wasn't even about clowning Tyler. Oprah, Let's so, I need to zip the back. Absolutely. Because Oprah question. gonna pick up a phone. If she ain't know nothing, she 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 should she should learn that from Ayala Benzin. Listen here, cause Ayala hey, called Mark Walters and said, "Bitch, pull the plug today." Yes, indeed. And you never saw the show. Never, never saw it again. again. And Ayala had to kiss ass and come back to uh -huh. Oprah and kiss ass and get a job. You but see, know. Monique did the same thing over at BET to Deborah Lee. She got oh, she stage, did? Mm -hmm. talking about her alter ego and tearing Deborah Lee down. Let me show you how boss Deborah Lee is. Let me show you how boss Deborah Lee is. Monique and her crew showed up the next morning, like, oh, y'all showing here for Maddie's show? Uh -huh. And imagine having Maddie, all y'all shit, cameras okay. and everything, wigs, makeup, <laughs> in, a, in the in the dolly out in the lot. You couldn't even come in. You pick your shit off me. You can't come back in here ever. Mm -hmm. Baby oh, that's what happened to her show? Bitch, Miss Deborah Lee plays no games, bitch. Because she said this, because she got the kiss. She tore Deborah Lee apart on stage. I couldn't hear what you said. Baby, wow. hit me when I tell you that Deborah Lee played no games with her. And, but you know, she but she's burned so many bridges because she did something similar with um, what's my boy who did the movie with Tiffany Haddish, the first movie that Tiffany did, Will Will Packer. You know, there was a whole email exchange. I don't know if you saw that. I need one for her. I need one for. Would you give me one? For oh, there's two of them. Yes, there's a couple of them in my suitcase, please. There was a whole email exchange where they were saying that uh, she was trying. To, she and her husband were trying to get extra money for different things and. Uh, everybody blames Bitch. the downfall on that husband. Now he has played a major part. In yeah, this, but she's a mess. Yeah, I can good. imagine. Yeah. Right, you painted? Yeah, you painted. You Bitch, you look like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> sitting, next, sitting next to a professional woman. <laughs> a working girl. Oh, I ain't yeah, worked in here. Like Tell mother that this food oh, is like delicious. You. Yeah, we been. It's, you've been missing it, girl. I have. I didn't get my water and my soda, but this food is delicious. Oh, baby. This why I'm trying to hurt. Ooh, you just do this and head back up there and you get dog here. Oh, that's court reporter hey over there. Mm. Hey, I just got a, I'm I'm just just got a glimpse. I'm Judge Judy. Judge Judy. Looking, looking like um, what's my girl name that passed away? She used to be on Designing Women. But why gotta be dead? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just talking about it. Just remind <laughs> me of her hair. What was my girl? Uh, Dixie Carter. Thing. 
when you do your dance. Why I gotta be? Why I gotta be? Oh girl, I'm scared to do that. I mean, it may not come back right. <laughs> Where you at, baby? Oh, bitch, listen, do you hear me about this young beauty piece of hair and the way Whitney, the yeah, lady? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, they have. Ooh! Yeah. This must be hairspray on you. Oh, it might be my hair. It might be some rice. Mm -hmm. No, bitch, I'm too little. Oh, little phone one. <laughs> no, bitch, I'm going to be trying to blame me, bitch. <laughs> you got white spots, so you should have cleaned up after the trade, bitch. <laughs> the trade that left his love on you. All right, we got to start, y'all. I love y'all, but we got to start because I'm hungry. You gonna eat it all off the side? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna let you gift this to me. Mm -hmm. So we'll put it over here on the side. And your glasses. And I'm let you, these are the two gifts that you got for me. Mm -hmm. And I ain't have no. I, you don't drink no alcohol, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, I. T oh, I. Bitch, you already gave me mother's food. It's delicious. Okay. All right. Oh, this some black folks' food. Bitch, I'm ready to go to sleep. See, I need a remote. I need a remote. But we gonna do this on the what you call it show. All right. Uh, so, so Craig, did you write it in? We starting out with the lady. I'm gonna start with Holly. We not starting out with Stacy Dash. Oh yeah, we gonna start out. with <laughs> bitch ass. Yeah, it was Jesus fucker. That bitch went to court. Jail and told the folks she was white. I let the white folks say, uh. No ma'am, nigga. No ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Craig, you're going to like her. She's very, very. Mm -hmm. Stacey Dash. So, I love her. Hey, I'm going to say. I'm going to hit start everything rolling. Y'all can continue. Go ahead. Oh, I just need to get the, 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 the. Did you turn the radio on? Oh, look at production pulling us together. Like, like listen, my two of her. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what we're going to try to do, Oliver, we're going to try to keep your edits as real limited as possible because we're we, we, we going to have to drop the show maybe at the end when Mo's in the, at home because it's six now. But we usually don't <clears throat> film on on Mondays no more. We film on Sundays. But my sister was somewhere getting Netflix money. <clears throat> Girl, leave Netflix. <laughs> Netflix had liked me. Mm-hmm. Well, it's fine. Go ahead, like maybe. Yeah. Where do you live in LA? In Long Beach. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a I got three roommates. Do you really? My kids. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody get the fuck out. I got two to be out in 2021. They go to college. We're not doing that. Are you running this? No. No, I'm just trying to see. You see, now the sound is actually funny. What's going on? Oh. We don't have no sound? I mean, the sound was working perfectly before. You know what to do? Yeah. Close it down and come back in. <sighs> save it, though. It's saved, but I'll save it. Oh! That's what I need. Something to drink. I need water or coke, please. Scott, can you help us? Yeah, I I just, thank you. I'll call with please, Scott. Thank you. Okay, and do you want you need a cup? No, I just drink out the bottle. Get her a wire glass, no, please. No, no. With a straw. I tell him I'm drinking some. Uh, with a straw. Oh well, just bring it just in case. A straw. Mm -hmm. Who drinks wine? Don't be trying to go high end bougie on me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'll turn a 40 up, bitch. I drink beer, but I don't drink beer. Because you a ghetto-ass nigga. That's what I you am do. not. I am a classy, highly sophisticated Jewish woman named Joan Goldman. With in your mind. With impeccable morals. In your mind. You're, Ju you're, you're June Goldman in your mind. <laughs> I'm Joan Goldman at the bank, bitch. Call, are you there? Okay. <laughs> oh, I saw the Still there. no sound? I'm about to check it out. Mm -hmm. Father, can you hear us? Excuse me? Is there something over here that's... Craig, shut the hell up. Is there something over here in my device that you're... Because if I don't put the camera on you, then it's going to be... Well, oh, you child. don't usually do that no way, I mean. Craig, shut up. <laughs> the most featured character in the whole thing is no, Craig. Uh, 
is Craig the writer Stewart. This very is now recurring. What um what beyond the bench are doing tomorrow? Track on. Hmm. Legger's gonna worry me to death about that uh, Dominican Republic trip. Oh, Dracon UK on right now, so that's what made me switch it around. Mm. <clears throat> oh, did they start that already? Dracon UK? RuPaul, get your change, bitch. She plays no games. That whole got her hand in every corn, pretty piece of corn person. Why don't she have trannies on her show? I'm asking a professional trainee. Why won't she allow trannies to be on her show? How, Inclusion, is, gay community, trannies. What that's gonna do for? Why does she want the trannies? With our titties show? out in the in the. Change the rules. They change the rules. We ask anybody else to change the rules. Why we can't change the rules within our community? She's big. She's a big icon in the, in the trans community, the gay community. Why she can't change the rules and have us have us t-shirt on? But not that I would want to do her show. I would never audition for. It. But why the trans are not allowed on her show? I know that's your mother. You know you, your your icon, your diva, your duchess. Mm -hmm. Well, the no trans ain't on the show. Well, one, it's gonna sound very nasty. It's gonna <laughs> sound very straight. If you can't get on somebody else, she'd make your own. Mm -hmm. But what did you feel about when they asked? Um, Hold on. I agree with that. But That's all I want to know. You got to find a trainer that want to do it. Because you know how I feel about it. What you? What did you think about the journalist that asked backstage when they won those Emmys? And hit all the white folks in the back. Why? Right, where's your inclusion? Where? Where are the? What are we now, what did you think about RuPaul's? Is there what right, the way he? The, the way he? Uh huh. Uh huh. His hiccup is uh -huh. response. Uh huh. Not yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. the speakers are not. Uh, what's right. Nelly? Uh, not Nelly. What's the name? Uh, Usher. Usher said it best. The name was Connor. To and never did answer. So that's why I kept. Why y'all want him to be that girl? He done wrong. Going around some shit. Why y'all want him to be that girl? Leave that man alone. Well, I mean, I have my issues about that with Tyler. That's that's my biggest cry. I just posted about it on my Facebook. But don't he employ a lot of black folks? Well, he does. Become, become that girl and be that girl. That's not the direct issue that I have with Tyler. Take a picture. My issue with Tyler is um, Soul Train. Soul Train, right. He's just the one that did it. So I don't fault Smile, you for that. Smile, um, realistically, Madison. <laughs> Refresh it. Thank you. Uh-huh. Pretty all this. Sophia. Let me just tell you that I was around 30 years ago. His first went show so was here. But I went to see Sophia in Dallas and after here was I had already seen him doing Medea. Oh, I don't know. 20 something years ago. She, When I moved here to Atlanta in 98, Sophia was doing the drag show. But he was doing his shows in little places like Alabama. He was. I but Tyler was coming to the I drag say show. Macon, Georgia or something. Tyler was coming to the drag show. And he was telling her you know I'm going to use that in my show. So then she shouldn't have an issue with it. Huh? She shouldn't even pitch any put in a movie for a bit part, so... I mean, you know, my thing is, you, you can't be mad with a person for running with the dream, with the and idea. And Sophia you know have had numerous opportunities of working on radio here. Sophia is funny live and in person. She's not, she doesn't read through the screen funny. You know what I mean? I like some, do. like we were just saying, I said some people are internet funny, but when you put them on the last mm -hmm. stage, they don't mm -hmm. have what it. And then sometimes it's about having the vision. Just because you have the the humor and that kind of, but you don't have the, you may not have the vision to and take he, it to the and next he level. Made the right connections. He hooked up with people that the was connections. going to catapult his damn career. Right now, my issue isn't any of that. My issue is. And I just posted this, but it's like, you just, I think it's amazing. Yeah, it's present. We are, listen, we're in the community, so we have to say that. <laughs> oh, now! The same now we so are. They, they no, because what you said no, 13 bitch. minutes ago. No, because in the community. 13 minutes ago. 13. <laughs> I'm saying the cowards. I'm keeping the clock, bitch. But no, fine. Let her finish, because it's not office. Because in the motherfucking community, bitch, you know, we can call each other she, her. Fag. We can do the same. Fag, yes. Uh -huh. Cause we identify in this. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand why they get so mad at James Chappelle when he said it. He just said, "Well, but what were you about to say?" I want to yeah, know. What you was about, about to give him a compliment. Oh no, because you was about to give him a compliment. You said you don't fuck with that puss ass hoe sometimes. Cause she this, that she did that. What an ice myrtle. This it took, it took you that long. It took you that long. Or you were at the top of the Miss Mary. Well, Didi was talking about King of Kings, and so I had. Oh, okay. Well, now we got sound. Okay, we're good. Ms. But did we check out, did we hear our voices on the side? Yeah. Are we sure? Yeah, I checked the voice. 
I'll leave it up. Uh, Where you at, baby? You see, you see the other side moving? Yeah. It's come. It's hearing the speakers. Okay. Okay. All right. Do I need to give you uh, another gummy before we get started? You might. Oh. <laughs> Let me get her. Let me get her ready. Cause she ain't ready, y'all. She ain't ready. Tiffany Haddish said ain't ready. She ain't ready. <laughs> you ain't ready, T.S. Don't Madison. forget to silence your phones, please. T.S. Madison. Live your life, bitch. I'm gonna have you have like to control you, bitch. <laughs> it's gonna be like a hypnotized bitch. That whole paycheck. Fuck that bitch. Don't do my don't do my mama like that. Girl, your mama pay too much. I don't <laughs> know why ain't no trannies on her show. You ain't still have yet to answer that question. All this create your own shit. Because it's her show. And she know what she doing. That's why no black people don't work there either. I'm just asking, Ooh. I'm asking for oh, a black friend. Oh, black people. I'm work asking there. for a friend. Oh, black people work there. Well. Oh, the guys that come out with the little skibby shorts on. Or the young black punks that she used to come on there. Ask it for a friend. <laughs>